Hello and welcome to the video on the spread. Okay, the spread is a little more difficult. Okay, this the spread is a little more, a little bit more difficult than the center because people are used to finding the center, and some people, this may be their first time dealing with the spread. But but one thing when I think of spread, okay, um, automatically I think about how much. How much the data is apart from each other this is like the very uh, very vague definition or not vague but very unscientific it's just how much the data varies that's another better that's a better word from each other okay so so measure of spread so so most people when they first think about spread and how much va data varies from each other, they think of this thing. One thing that they do know is this thing called the range. Okay, so the range is, is, is just a number. Okay, so it's the largest number minus the smallest. Okay, but this is, this is, um, this is actually bad. We don't want to do this in our data sets because just think about it I mean if you have a low outlier if you have an outlier to in your smallest on your smaller side and you have an outlier on your right side then um, you know that's gonna sh you could have a large range, large range when in actuality your data could be very compact okay it, it almost be like if, if you had like this like negative six and a thousand and then you had like a hundred data points between let's say 10 and 12 so here's a hundred data points between 10 and 12 and then you have this negative 6 to a thousand so your range would actually be a thousand and six okay but most of your data points don't fall there so I might have explained a little too much there but that's definitely something that you don't want to use okay so there's two other measures of spread and the first one I'm going to be talking about is called the interquartile range And we pronounce this IQR. IQR. Okay, so to explain this, um, and, and I'm going to show you what this measures. This is a, basically it's a range, so it's going to be a number. It is a number. And, and 50, basically it measures the middle 50% of data. It measures the data of the middle 50%. Okay, so so if you have 100 data points, 50 of those data points will fall in the IQ, IQR. But where are they falling? Okay, within which two data points? So the thing that we want to start with is uh, the first quarter. Okay, so the so you have a whole set of data. You have a data set. Okay, and and then if you list that data set from smallest to largest let's go ahead and do that this are data was smallest to largest the first 25% uh, of data 25% of data okay is the first quartile the first quartile of data is called the or I should say the first quartile we call it Q1 anything to the left of that will be 25 percent of the data okay and let's talk about the the um, the third quartile so this would be the first 75 percent and you'll see what I mean the first 75 percent is the third quartile We do that Q3 okay so what that means is that that you're gonna have this we're gonna do the five number summary on a different video but if you have this Q3 or this Q1 and you have this Q3 now look what this means 25% of the data falls here okay we you, I split the data in quarters let me do it on let me do it like this 
I split the data from smallest to largest and if this is your Q1 that means this is 25 percent of the data. If this is your Q3 this is 50 percent of your data. Or, I'm sorry 75 percent. 50 percent is the median. 75 percent of your data this way. So this is 25 you get up to 75 then this must be this middle is 50 percent of your data okay so the IQR remember the IQR is is a number see how the range is a number it's a number okay it's not the IQR is not Q1 to Q3 it's Q3 minus Q1 so this comes out to be a number okay so you'll know let's say this is 1 let's say they, that the IQR is 1 that you know like, like let me let me give you an example on the the Richter scale that we did did I get rid of that okay I did I get rid of that so if you know the IQR was 1 you know 50 percent of the what you hear I say what the whatever we're interested in falls between Q1 and Q3. And remember, Q1 and Q3 have units on it because these are all quantitative data. So this is units. So these might be test scores. So I could say, well, 50% of the people scored between a, a, let's say, 70 and a 75. So that means every most of the people scored within that range, and everybody else is outside of it. Okay. So so that's kind of how we measure, um, or that is how we measure. The IQR, and I do have a video, a more elaborate video, um, on how to do it. But let me let me just explain how how I describe it, because the, the key here is that you report it. Okay, you report it. You report it. So generally, what I'll do is I'll find the IQR, and then I'll say something like this. This is how I report it. I say fifty percent of the, there's something we're interested in, whatever our data set is made up of, whatever we gathered on our subject or on our who's. 50% of the test scores, okay, um, let me let me go ahead and uh, our test scores were between Q1 and Q3. Okay, so that's a good way to do it. Well, I paused there for a second because I was thinking, um, you know, you might put a who in here also. So if, if these were student scores, if I had student scores, okay, then you would say 50% of the student scores fell between this and this, okay? But let's say it was a national test on SATs. I could say 50% of the SAT scores were between this and this number. Okay. All right. So um, now you should be you should be halfway decent at shape. You should be okay with our outliers. Okay. You should know how to report the median, and now we could report the spread. Okay. You don't necessarily have to say if it's good or bad yet. You know, later on we'll get into more of that about if it's a good spread or a bad spread. Of course, we always want a good spread. A good spread is small and means that our data is more consistent. Okay, for the most part. So that's it. We are going to be talking about more center and spread later. Okay, and um, I'm going to do another video about when to use. That's going to be probably the next one when to use median and IQR, because those go together. That's why I did them first. All right, thanks for watching.